Hello guys, this is Subhadi. Welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial, we will talk about how many unique orders is placed by a customer. So when a customer generates a order, then a automatically a order ID is generated. So in the, in this tutorial, we will see all of these. So here you can see this is our orders table, and in the orders table. Here is order ID. This is unique IDs. Okay. And here it is our customer name. I took it as a slicer and made it horizontal. Okay. So if I do not select any slicer here, here you can see 51k rows. Okay. So 51k rows means 51k individual order ID is here. Okay, 51k individual order ID. Okay, so but I want for a single customer how many unique order IDs is there. So for this, I have created a dash command. Here you can see, uh, first of all, uh, see from here calculate count rows orders ID in selected ID. So what it is doing? Calculate function is calculating rows count. Okay. So what uh, count rows is doing? Count rows is doing uh, count rows count rows is counting the individual rows. It is counting the individual rows, individual order ID from where. Selected IDs in selected ID. So, what uh, from where selected IDs is coming? Here you can see I have created a variable called selected ID. Then it is all selected. So, all selected, what all selected is doing? All selected is just uh, removing all the filters and getting a column of the selected values so what is the selected values selected values is the count of rows if it is 10 if it is count rows is 10 okay for a suppose for a customer name if i select a customer name count rows is coming 10 so for the for the time being the customer is placed 10 individual orders okay for the time being the customer is placed 10 individual orders and uh, what all select is doing all select is just creating a column for the 10 order ids okay for the 10 individual order IDs. this work is just this okay so uh, from the past what it is doing calculate function is calculating the uniquely identified count rows uniquely identified rows of the order IDs and and uh, in selected IDs. So what is selected ID? Selected ID is order ID and what all selected is doing? All selected is getting the count of rows if it is 10, 20, getting the count of rows and creating a column of the of these 10 20 order ids okay so this is it so if i create uh, if i click on a customer let's see this here you can see 77 rows that are coming so this customer is placed order of 77 individual orders so uh, what is happening here First of all, it, it goes to count rows. It calculates the count rows. Here it can see that uh, for this customer, for this individual customer, from the order IDs, from the order IDs, there are 77 individual rows. Okay. And then this is returning this 77 to all selected values. Okay. So it works like this. So I think you got my point. Here, here you can see 
like this it is changing so uh, if you like my if you like this video please like it share it among your friends if you like my channel please subscribe it if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section so thank you for the for this tutorial thank you guys thank you